Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm from eWrench.com. This demonstration is about installing Python Google App Engine into an Ubuntu 12.04 desktop. Google App Engine allows a developer to build up to 10 free dynamic web applications and have them hosted by Google without any charge. Outcomes for this video include download Google App Engine for Python 2.7, install Google App Engine, create an app YAML configuration file and a greetings.py program, verify Google App Engine operation. Obtaining a Google App Engine account is not demonstrated in this video. You will have to do that on your own. Create an application in Google App Engine administration and then upload your App Engine greetings program to Google App Engine and verify the operation on the web. Requirements. Ubuntu 12.04 LTS desktop. You can use another Ubuntu version if you prefer. You need an additional 256 megabyte of memory for local Google App Engine operation than the minimum. I found that it crashes, that my Ubuntu crashes if I don't add 256 megabyte memory. Of course, the internet connection in Python 2.7, which is normally installed with Ubuntu. Ability to use your favorite text editor this video uses Vim, but you can use whichever text editor you wish. And a Google App Engine account, which requires a cell phone. You may ask Google for an account without a cell phone. Additional info, Google App Engine, and Python Google App Engine download. And then here's a good book that I found that was very helpful uh, by Dan Sanderson. Programming Google App Engine from O'Reilly Google Press 2013. Of course, there's a disclaimer. If you want to read the disclaimer, please pause the video. The next step will be to download the Google App Engine and install it. To install Google App Engine, the uh, first thing you have to do is go to this page right here, HTTPS developers.google.com app engine downloads. Now, since we're working with Python and we're working with Ubuntu, we'll go down here to where it says Google App Engine SDK for Python and we'll pick Linux other platforms and simply click on it and the download page and we're going to save the file instead of open it and just click OK. Once it's downloaded no longer need the browser. We'll open up the file manager. Go to downloads. Right click. Extract here. So as it's extracting, you'll notice that we've got a folder with everything being extracted. Once it's extracted, we can move this folder right here into the home directory. And if we look at home, there it is, Google App Engine. This is it for installing Google App Engine. It's installed in your home directory next part of the video will be a short demonstration of uh, how it works. In this part of the video I will write a short greetings web page to demonstrate how Google App Engine works in your local setting. Although I will use the Vim text editor, you can use any text editor you wish. You can use Get It, which comes with Ubuntu or Eclipse, uh, which I prefer, but I, I prefer to use a simpler text editor this time. So the first step is go to our home folder and we're going to create a folder to put our applications in and we'll simply call it Google Apps create another folder for our project here called Greetings so after that's been done go ahead and close this in my case I'm going to open up the uh, terminal and I'm going to go to Google Apps Greetings. I'm going to have to install the Vim text editor because it's not already installed on this machine. So if you want to use it, use sudo apt-get-y for basically so you don't have to enter it later. Install Vim. As I said, you can use any text editor you wish. Just simply cop or copy the files from 
the demonstration. Once installed, we go to sudo vim and create a configuration file called app.yaml. YAML. Give it an application name. In this case, we're going to call it greetings. In this case, it's going to be changed when we upload it, but for now, this is what we're going to use. This is Python 2.7 without a point in between. The configuration file handles the different pages. It uses regular expressions to find what you're searching for. Greetings.app, and this is what our Python file is going to be called greetings.py, and it has to match here. Now hit escape. Write. Well, we won't quit here. Just write. Actually, let's quit. And the next thing we're going to write is the greetings.py file. I'm going to create a hello Google App World web page and then make sure that that works. And then we're going to add some action to it. Here's the HTML. Now I'll write the Python code. There's a Python code to show the page. So now I'll put in the Google App Engine code to actually find the page. Once this is written, hit Escape and write it. Now keep this open and open up another terminal, new terminal, beside it and we're going to run the Google App Engine and see if I've type keyed in everything correctly. And to do that it's calling from the Google App Engine directory the app server dot pi. And I could just use a dot here but I want to show that the entire so we're calling appserver.py in the Google App Engine directory and then we're going to run this greetings program. Okay, I'm in keyboarding area. So it says I have an error in the app, app.yaml file. So let's go back over here and let's take a look at this app.yaml file. Line 9, column 10, escape, W. Go back to this other table. And we'll allow it to check for updates. So basically it says right here we can check the web page at localhost 8080. And there is a admin server at 8000. You'll see it's got this, uh, it's got some errors. It may have some errors on the uh, database uh, that you can ignore. So let's open up the web browser. And we'll go to local host. eighty eighty. And again, we've got an error because it should show. So let's quit this. And let's open up the greetings. Greetings.py. Forgot my closing parentheses here. I for insert. Escape, write. Well, actually, once it's written, we simply hit the refresh here. Everything works. Now, the next step, I'm going to add some uh, action to this. To 
to do that I will go to the body and actually add a form. Here we have a form with method equal post. Here I've added a form to our uh, greetings application asking for name and give an identifier user and had the max length equal 12. That means you can only add, enter 12 characters. Next we need to go down and write the post. So we've done the post here. Uh, basically the username gets a username using self request get user only uh, the first 12 characters. It's a double check on the max length. And then it writes to the computer out to the web page greetings. Uh, actually it should write greetings from your computer. So here we have the post and gets the username from the web page or the user from web page stores it in username gets the first 12 characters it writes out to another web page greetings from your computer the username in bold we're going to write that once it's written we simply put the slash back into the page reload it ask for a game name and it says greetings from your computer and that's basically uh, a simple uh, greetings web page done in Google App Engine. To shut down our uh, local web server, we simply use Control C. The next section is going to be uh, about uploading this uh, simple program to Google App Engine uh, for the World Wide Web. Currently, Google allows you to load up to 10 free apps that are App Engine Cloud. To get to your account on the cloud, simply go to appengine.google.com and you've got a sign-in page. Now unfortunately I'm not going to show you how to create an account, but if you want to create an account, simply go to sign up and ask you some information. Here you have a mobile phone you're going to require to give that mobile phone otherwise you will not get an account. Uh, there are some ways to get around that through Google but uh, generally it's a lot easier if you have a mobile phone. So I'm going to go back to the sign in page put in my email password to create an application at the administration page basically go down to here where it says create an application click on that and you have to give a unique application identifier similar to an email address uh, there's no two Google App Engine identifiers that can be the same across the entire uh, world so basically I use a uh, little Python piece of code to generate a six letter uh, random set of numbers and letters and so I'm going to try KS3F9I check availability and the application is greetings and you've got some choices here I'm going to basically say open to all Google account users so I'm going to create an application and we'll use KS3F9I as identifier so once this is done I can sign out, upload my application, but make sure I keep that, know what I've got here. So click sign out. Now let's minimize this. What I've got to go now and do is go into the terminal or the text editor and I've got to change my app.yaml file. So I'm going to go to CD Google apps greetings whoops let's get rid of this first uh, leading yeah I'm going to open up my uh, app dot yaml file
and where it says the application greetings whatever text editor you have get rid of the greetings and in this case whatever your application ID is KS3F9I escape once this is done you can uh, upload your application Google App Engine A P P C F C F G update now because I'm in a greetings directory I can actually use the period just put a dot instead of entering the whole directory where the greetings files are or but I'm going trying to go and do the everything here so I hit enter email address then ask for your password so this is cloning two application files so it says deployment successful we'll go back to our web browser this time instead of signing in we're going to go to the actual web page in this case it would be KS3 F9I dot appspot.com so your user your application ID dot appspot.com now I made a mistake here I put a one instead of an I here and here we have the Google hello Google app engine world and put in your name and greetings for your computer and so you'll see it works both locally and on the World Wide Web. So that's how, so that's how you create a Google App Engine application and uh, post it to the web. Thank you.